Hello, hello, people. It's me, Quinn the GM. I am back for more Crusader Kings 3. This week's A Dance with Dragons video that came out back on Wednesday it was actually a ton of work, so I'm being a bit more chill at this point. I'm going to try to get a little better at this game, and I'm going to do something new. I'm not going to continue the Stannis game. That might be a future video. What I want to do instead is get into the actual war here, because, oh, if my computer can handle it, I want to play as Lord Robert Baratheon and figure out if I can do Robert's Rebellion better than he did. Because I have a plan, and that plan is probably not going to pan out, but I'm going to try my best. So we've started, and we've got a ton to do here. We know all the Robert's Rebellion stuff, and let's take a look at, like, patron aspects, this sort of thing. So we're going to go to uh, the Warrior, because that is Robert, and I'm planning on doing some combat. We're going to go to Lifestyle, Martial, Authority, Focus, Select... Look at all these things I'm doing. Uh, Air unmarried. I'm going to marry Stannis too. Let's look at alliance power. I think the high towers are probably a good pick here. Uh, so let's send that off. And then let's take a look at uh, other things. Whether I can marry, I'm doing that. You can negotiate an alliance with Lord Edwin. I'll also do that. And a few knights. I'll... Uh, yeah, that seems fine for now. Good. So we are ready to put our plan into action. We are up here in Gull Town. Uh, yeah, there's our army right here. Um, and we can click on it, select. We're going to go straight on down to Dragonstone because I want to trigger the event with Rhaegar and battle him as soon as I can. Uh, additionally, let's take a look over here at the Mad King. Click on this old fella. And let's see. Let's... Murder. Let's scheme. 95% chance that he's killed. I will do that. Oh, 37 agents have joined my plan. Excellent. This is this is going better than I anticipated, actually. So hopefully it works out. I'm taking the leap, and I'm going to unpause and see how it goes. Are things happening? Okay, I formed an alliance with uh, Grandpappy. Excellent. And we've hit the ocean. Good. So we've also got the high towers in our pocket now. Very good. Uh, looks like we are facing an army here, but hopefully we can still get on the sea, make our way over to Dragonstone, and get this combat underway. Because overall, I think getting Rhaegar and Ares will very much give us the advantage in this conflict. And hopefully this will result in us attacking Rhaegar here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay, here we go. We're on Dragonstone itself. So we're going to try to uh, taunt him a little bit at first, and then let's attack. Uh, high chance to increase our likelihood of success. We're just going to keep doing that. Oh, we win. Excellent. We throw out a crushing thwack that shatters his jaw. He hurdles backwards and crumples. Goodbye, Rhaegar. Excellent. So we have killed Rhaegar, and now we are going to go away. We are going to go back to friendly territory, because I don't want to have all of my armies die. I've made some more allies, and my army is marching westward, because I'm hoping to draw people away from King's Landing, and oh, yep, there is a big army headed this way. Okay, let's, uh, let's figure that out. Actually, I'm gonna have you come and engage with these guys, because they're in my territory, and I want to deal with Connington and get him out of there, because he's great, but I don't want him around. So let's uh, let's go up here and join in the fighting. Come on. Oh, God. This could be bad. It looks like they... Oh? It looks like we're winning? We're the blue, right? Nope. Never mind. Okay. So during my clash with the Targaryen loyalists at Buckleforge, Lord Lucas has come before me to offer his submission. Excellent. Good. So we are gaining some allies here. Okay, we're getting a lot of allies here. Excellent. I did not expect these battles to go so well. And then we'll have these troops join in this battle if they can. Yeah. Is that how that works? They're not joining the battle. That's very strange. Okay, I guess not. That should be fine. Okay, I paused because there are a million things happening. I have a battle defeat, and I have a battle victory, and it seems like there are a lot of places under siege, but overall... Uh, this one guy is doing crazy things. Oh, we have some Iron Warren in the mix, too. Okay, let's get uh, let's get some attacks on these guys. Let's figure out exactly how we can win this war. The scheme against Ares is also going 
fairly well. I believe it's nearly done. We've got about four months until that's over. And at the moment, we're just fighting some, uh, some Targaryen folks. And hopefully we'll be able to... Come on, come over here, folks. We've got to help out. Help the Tullys. Join the battle. Good, good, good. Oh, this is going a lot better. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to understand war. Rio, scheme against Ares has come to fruition. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired, and the duck was gifted to King Ares alone. It will be rubbed with the poison, and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. Excellent. So, 95% chance of killing him. I tried this once before. It didn't. Let's see how it goes. Bon appetit, Ares. Oh, oh, thanks to the duck and the poison vial, Ares is finally dead. Excellent. So, we now have a baby on the throne. Excellent. It's unclear exactly what killed him as well, so it it does not come back to bite me, which is excellent. So, let's go see if we can get a scheme against Aegon now, too. Uh, let's try to murder him. 95% chance to succeed. Excellent. And let's see... How's our war score doing? We have a war score of 4%. And let's see. He will not accept this. Okay, the baby king is not doing great. So we are going to instead march on King's Landing. Won another battle, and now we march on the Red Keep. Let's uh, get this going. Oh, the Greyjoys are distracted, but they just won another battle, it looks like. And let's uh, get more people here to help. Begin the siege. Excellent. So I've ransomed people successfully. I've actually never done that before. Looks like Connington is coming to help too. Very good. So, oh, a couple battles going on around here, but they are vastly outnumbered. Come on, battles. Let's go. Okay, excellent. Winning this one, winning that one. And now we go and begin the siege. Siege of the Red Keeps going well, and I just had the baby murder pop up. So here we go. See it done no matter the price. Hopefully it works. Oh, deed is indeed done. Excellent. So, I had to do this. I had to do this. All right. Who is the new Targaryen ruler here? Viserys is. Okay. Oh, wait. No, that's the Lordship of King's Landing. So, it looks like Rhaenys is the queen now. Excellent. So, we have a 37% war score. Maybe they'll accept our surrender now? Or we'll accept their surrender now? Nope. Okay. Great. So we'll just continue the siege. Very good. Okay, things are going well. Other than uh, sieges that are happening, but Mace Tyrell is just kind of off doing his own thing, as has been the case. Let's assault the fort. So if you're as politically savvy a mind as I am, you'll note that the new queen, Rhaenys, has Duran Martell as her regent. And look who just joined our scheme to murder Queen Rhaenys. Why is this war still going on? Just give up. Give up. It should be fine. Siege is still going on. Siege is uh, going strong, but it's taking a minute because it's the right to keep. I've detected a slight problem on the horizon. I'm going to pause, and it seems like we have a ton of armies coming at us right here. So let's, uh, let's make a new rally point and get set up to uh, just kind of slow them down. So new rally point's going to be here. And then right here, raise local army and get that going. Just to kind of be lambs to the slaughter, but hopefully to prevent uh, this army from coming up and stopping the siege. So we've got some action here, folks. We've got the uh, Tyrells and Martells coming up to attack me while I'm besieging King's Landing. And the siege is actually very close to getting done. We have 14 months left at maximum. And they seem to just be gathering. They're just standing there menacingly. They're sieging some tiny castles that I think are theirs. I don't know what they're doing. I also joined another war, but that's the High Towers. And hopefully that doesn't end up being uh, too, too bad. Let's see. Enforced demands. Can't do that there. Cleaning up. Oh, excellent. So we'll continue to advance the scheme. Good. All things going well. Oh, they're here. They're in King's Landing. Oh, God. Okay, so this is potentially bad, but the siege is still going on. 
hopefully that won't change too many things. It looks like we're winning this battle. Yeah, excellent. Wait, no, not excellent. We're the defender. Okay, so we're red in that case. Oh, bad. A tragedy, truly. Duran, buddy, you gotta stop trying to murder kids that you're acting as regents for. So, doing a Robert's Rebellion does seem to be a little bit more difficult than it looks, uh, if things are to be believed here. Oh, I can get a maester from the Citadel. Absolutely. Oh, I'm losing again. Okay. Great, 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 great. Stupid Tyrells just keep destroying me at every possible point. Um... I'm gonna... I don't think we're gonna win this war. The war has been lost. I am imprisoned. Uh, Viserys III is now the king. I'm sure he's gonna do a great job. Um, my betrothal to Lyanna Stark has been broken. Kyle is an experienced fighter. Guys, Kyle's here. I gotta find a new maester and person and wife, maybe. Let's see. Spouse. I have no available spouse because I'm imprisoned. So yeah, I can probably break out of prison, right? Yeah, escape from prison. Let's see, no bars will hold me. Uh, I'll do this in a second. So I'll do a council position first. I need a new hand of the king. I'll do this. And then I'll escape from prison, just as, uh, as Bobby B would do. This is the maester. I'm going to escape from prison. Up, oh, I will rot in here. Okay, so I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm in prison for now. Great. Good place to end things, I think. Thank you all so much for watching my excellent, very good, very strategic attempt at Robert's Rebellion. I've learned the valuable lesson that apparently killing their leadership really doesn't do a ton. So, yeah, I will look forward to uh, seeing you all more in the future and hopefully doing more CKC stuff. CKC. CK3. Hopefully on stream. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a bit more laid back than my usual fare, but that's mostly because I spent a lot of time this week working on my retrospective on A Dance with Dragons, which you can find on the screen if you didn't get a chance to see that earlier in the week. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as well if you enjoyed this, and I will be back with more theories and Songwise Fire content next Sunday. Thank you for watching.